Everything in Adobe Illustrator can eventually be broken down into a filled path. There are a few effects that are really more raster effects, like glows and whatnot, that ultimately would have to be rasterized uh, if you needed to break them down to the smallest components. But most things are a path with a fill. Let me select that. Here I have a path stroked with a gray line. Now I have a path with no stroke filled with gray. Everything in Illustrator can be broken down into a path specifying an area that is filled with a color. You say, well, what about strokes? The path can have a stroke on it. Well, what is a stroke? Well, let's take a look at a couple of things. First of all, if we zoom in on this, we see the path and we have an equal weight stroke defined by that path. But there are different things we can specify, like maybe we want rounded ends on that or square butt ends extending out from it. We can have our stroke on a closed shape, we can have the stroke go inside or outside or centered on the path. But this is basically a convention. If I needed to do more with this path, like put an outline on the shape, well, I can turn that into a shape by going to Object and Expand. If I expand the stroke, now what I see is that I have a path. If we look in the in our layers, we see Adobe Illustrator likes to group everything, sometimes unnecessarily. I'm just going to drag that out of the group so I don't get too many nested groups. Here I have a filled path with no stroke. Because it has no stroke, I could go ahead and put a stroke on that. I'll put a black stroke on there, make it a little bit bolder. I could continue this process expanding this stroked path into a filled path because there's would be a hole cut in it. It would be a compound path, but still it would be a path specifying an area of color. If we look at this and put, say, a gradient on this fill, I'd say, well, what about that? This also it can be expanded. If I go to Object and Expand, and this time, well, I'll expand both the fill and the stroke. For the gradient, I could have it create a gradient mesh, which isn't still isn't quite getting broken down as far as I'm talking about. But if we look at our gradient, it's a for a white to black gradient, 256 shades of gray. This is going to create 255 objects, one for each shade. I open up this group. Here's the fill broken down into little slices. This, I can go in and select these individual slices in here. If I look at them, you see that these are just filled with a solid color. So the gradients eventually can be broken down into paths filled with solid colors. Now there are a lot of ways we can take advantage of that if we realize that this is what we're doing.